How's it going everybody? This is Wood Vibes. Thanks for stopping by my shop. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install an attic ladder. Let's get started with the project. So the first part of this project is going to be getting our measurements right for our hole opening. Um, this is what we're going to be installing today. So what we need to do is get the whole inside cleaned up. I had some extra screws in there and some nails that were kind of sticking out so mounting it was going to be a little bit tough. Now anytime I get a chance to I'm always doing projects with my kids. I remember when I was a little kid I used to do as many projects as I could with my dad and that was some of the few times that I got to spend with him. So anytime I get a chance I'm always doing projects with mine. So. One thing I figured out is I needed to put in um, a couple extra 2x4s to give the ladder um, brackets something to mount to. So here I'm talking to my son about putting that just on the inside on top of the drywall and then I'm going to secure that to both sides um, in straight into the joist. So that way it'll be able to hold the weight of the ladder. So other than that, um, the standard opening between the joists is made for the ladder. So it's actually a really easy um, thing to do. Normally you just would have to put one on either of the short ends. So at most picking up um, one extra two by four. I just had some extras laying around so I used that. Um, I put a clamp in behind it um, to hold it because I was going to be toenailing my screws in um, at an angle and I didn't want that 2x4 to move so that way my measurements stay true and correct. So here I'm in, I'm, I'm putting in two screws um, on either side um, and that's plenty strong enough for um, this little light attic ladder um, so won't be any issues there. Um, I used the DeWalt impact driver for this um, with some standard. I think I was using uh, two and a half inch or three inch um, wood screws. Um, and you can pick those up at any of the big box stores or anything like that. So um, here I'm putting in the support pieces on the bottom. So now that I got my measurements right for the hole opening, um, I need to provide some support. So um, as you'll see in a second here, I'm gonna be putting in um, the attic ladder and it's going to rest on these two supports. So I uh, should have pre-drilled this, probably make it a little bit easier for you if you did. So um, just pre-drill, I think I put um, four screws per support, um, just drove them straight into that um, two by four that I put in as the spacer to make sure that I got my dimensions right. So I just drilled this straight in, got it nice and solid. Uh, so I'm gonna move over to the other side and I'm gonna repeat that same process. So putting in one more support over here and a few more screws. Now I will tell you, um, it did leave some screw holes um, that I had to uh, go back and fill in the drywall, um, but it, it wasn't anything that um, was a problem or anything like that. It was a really easy fix. So now I'm just pushing up the, the attic ladder up there. Um, it's actually not too heavy. Um, so, you know, one person can get it up there pretty safely. Um, I did it with my son because I just like doing stuff with him. Um, now, one thing I will tell you is normally, um, it, so if you're doing this by yourself, um, you would crawl up into the attic, you would place this in place, and then um, what you're not able to see here is um, my son putting in the screws to fasten it from the inside. So once those screws are in, your ladder is complete. and the first couple times that you kind of open it up, it's a little bit tough to do. 
um, and a little bit tough to kind of close but as long as you have your measurements correct around the around the inside di diameter that it asked for and a lot of these things are all in the instructions too but um, as long as you get your measurements right and it's all secured um, in each one of those screw holes um, this process is actually pretty quick and pretty easy so this thing um, definitely was huge it helped out a lot so add a lot of more options for us um, so I put a, a nice little rack up there with some more uh, tote storage so that way uh, we can kind of maximize our storage in our house and have an easy access up there so hopefully you enjoyed the build thanks for watching my dad's video and the like button to get to subscribe